All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22 Pick Dodger Badge. This is one of the most enigmatic badges in the game in that some people swear by it, some people don't run it at all, some people feel like it works way too well, some people feel like it doesn't work, period, so they do not run it. I'm one of those people, I'm somewhere in the middle. I use it to unlock the animations, but I do not rely on this badge at all do not get it twisted so if you don't do anything else man make sure y'all like the video man because liking the video helps us get closer to that oh so coveted 100k and what we're gonna try to do is do some of these more some more of these badge analysis videos to help you guys learn which badges you need to be running which ones that you don't need to be running what they do in real world application and uh in settings and just how they, how everything goes man so without further ado let's just get right into it now, in this video right here, man, you're going to notice we're not on blacktop. We're not in a vacuum. This is not a game that I played offline or anything like this. This is literally a game that I played online against a fellow that has a 80 win percent and scores 12 points a game. Almost 13 points a game. I'm playing with one of the best centers in the game that I done played with this year, man, Zerkins. Hey, awesome dude, man. But listen, the pick dodge bad, the badge, the first thing that you need to know is this. This badge is not a free license to just run through screens. It's not, that's not what it is. It's just, to me, it's a it's a badge that is a fail safe. The best thing that you can do in this game is to manually avoid screens. You, when, when you're running into a screen, you're running at a screen, you want to come off of everything and look and see what is the best way that you can avoid the screen. You don't wanna be using Pick Dodger to, to help you get through these screens. Come off everything. Like, the best advice that I can give you is to come off of everything and then try to get through the screen. The second thing that I can tell you is this. Like I said, let's let's run this back. We're going to run this back real quick. Uh, this guy right here, you're going to look at this game. If you run the game back, you will probably see that the only screens I'm going to get hit by, I'm going to try to manually avoid everything. But the only thing that I'm going to get hit by, uh, if, this is an illegal screen. I don't care what anybody says, bro. I, I, I'm going to manually get around everything else but this is the only case that I use pick dodger in is when they set illegal screens like this and I don't want to get completely annihilated by them. Now when that happens, if you don't have a good center that's gonna pick up and deny the shot, you've already lost the game anyway. So, like I said, the biggest thing that I can tell you is manually run around the screens, come off left trigger, come off right trigger, and try to see which way you can get around that screen, whether it be in front of it, whether it be trailing the guy, whether it be going over the top. Now. Knowing that that is the case and that's what you want to do, if you're able to play this game at a high enough level, I say only put Pick Dodger on either gold or bronze. When you get good enough at running around the screens and the only thing you're going to get hit by are the illegal screens anyway, you'll know that you can just have it on bronze. Look at, look at right here. Let's go back. Look right here. He's going to try to screen me. Look what I'm doing. I'm going to manually come off of everything and I'm going around the screen myself. I want to deny him access to the screen myself. Like right here, I'm making them work coming up the court. Now I'm going to go under the screen myself, and then I'm going down. The only reason I have Pick Dodger on right now is that in the case that I make mistake, if I mistakenly make contact with the center, I'll get hit by one of those uh, illegal screens or something like that. It's going to help me out. Other than that, I'm doing three things. I'm trying to make him work like hell to get to the screen, I'm straight up denying him access to the screen, and then I'm gonna manually go around and like, again, look right here. Right here, once again, the pick dodge animation may kick in, but look, when he's gonna come up and try to set this screen, I'm already coming off everything and I'm around it, so I'm able to get back here. There's, there's nothing he can do. You're making him work like heck to get to the screen. You're manually going around these screens by coming off of everything. And then after that, you got your big man hedging because why would you play two-on-one offense when they're playing? You're going to play two-on-one defense when they're playing one-on-one. Well, you're going to play one-on-two offense when they're playing two-on-one defense. I mean, you know what I'm trying to say, man. They got two people playing offense against you and then you're playing two-on-one offense or two-on-one defense or whatever. Make it a two-on-two -two defensive game. Get your center hedging. Get your center moving, get him active, and get him helping you out so that you can so that you don't have to play two-on-one offense. Now, with all that being said, what do I recommend using pick dodger on? I say put it on gold until you get good enough. 
I feel like silver is irrelevant. I, I really got no benefit out of silver. Hall of Fame, when I try to use it on Hall of Fame, it feels like the guy wants to try to slide through the screen way too much. Now, the first thing that you want to do is put your defensive assist down to like 15 or something like that. If it's up too high, you're going to... And look at it. I mean, just look at the amount of illegal screens that they're allowing this guy to set, man. It is ridiculous. Look at this. I'm going around. Look at that. Like, you can't... 2K, y'all got to do better, bro. Look at this. Look at this. That's an illegal screen, but they don't call it. But anyway, like I said, those are the only situations that I feel like pick dodger is going to be the most valid in because I'm going to try to manually avoid this screen myself. But if you go back and look at the tape, every, every screen that he set was an illegal screen that he actually hit me with. So with that being the case, I run pick dodger on bronze. If you feel like you're getting hit way too much, I would say put it on gold. But the reason that I would not put it on Hall of Fame is simply this. It feels like when you put it on Hall of Fame, he's looking for the screen to try to run through and try to slide through and try. He's trying. It's like he's trying to. So if he feels any contact, there could be contact behind your back and you're actually trying to deny him access to the screen. Sometimes when that happens, it'll make it so that he'll try to slide through the screen the wrong way and you'll be on the same side as your as your help defender and that right then you're in a world of trouble the dude's gonna sprint the other way and he's gonna go so that's why my recommendation is play pick dodger on bronze once you get good enough at completely avoiding the screens come off everything come off left trigger come off right trigger come off all of that and run around the screen manually but you have it on bronze just in case you get hit with a bailout as long as you're running into the screen at a very low rate of speed, you're not gonna get impacted that much. If you're running into the screen with left trigger and right trigger holding it, you're going to get annihilated. You're gonna be one of those pictures, you're gonna be, you're gonna be a chalk outline. But anyway, like I said, this is one of those videos that I just wanna show proof of concept. I can break it down more in these, in these Lockdown University videos if y'all want me to, but dude went two for five, couldn't really get open. His center scored four points, and we just did a very good job. I cannot take all the credit, and I can't credit Zirkins enough for helping me with that because like i said we were able to play two on two defense against a two on two offense don't let these guys play two on one offense against somebody and you just leaving that guy out there to drive man that's just all i can tell you so like i said one more time put it on goal don't put it on hall of fame i mean if you feel like do what you want to do that's that's number one but i say put it on goal until you get good enough at completely avoiding the screens, then just put it on bronze. Learn how to avoid the screens, come off everything, run above the screen, run below the screen. Make that center work to set the screen and make the other guy work to get to the screen. And I promise you, you'll be running this thing on bronze in no time. Just like I said, deny the screen, make him work to get to it, play two on two defense, and you'll be good, man. Hopefully this thing helped y'all out, man. Uh, y'all let me know if y'all want more videos like this in the future where we actually show you the real world application. We not just in blacktop, like palling around and stuff like that. Cause like I said, a lot of times you look at these stats, man, the stats are empty stats because we don't know you're never going to just run straight into a screen or what have you and you should never be running into it with, with right trigger and left trigger at the same time. Anyway, you should be trying to manually avoid it and you're using you're using uh pick dodger it's just a bailout anyway man i'm gonna holler at y'all next time man let me know what y'all think about the video if y'all want more videos like this leave a like let me know what's bad y'all want me to test out and give y'all the level four uh next time and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's town Gosh,